Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Anand, pediatric orthopedic consultant at Ankura Hospital for Women and Children. Most of the club feet presenting talking about the treatment protocol. Treatment protocol there are multiple treatment protocols that have been suggested for uh, CTAV. Uh, some being Ponsetti technique and French tape technique and also Kites technique. But according to many papers and best possible treatment to be given for CTEV is always Ponsetti technique. So Ponsetti technique goes like around 5 to 6 uh, serial plasters are done every week. Weekly we change the plasters and we correct the deformity 5 degrees each time. And the deformity goes from correction goes from distal to proximal. That will be first will be cavus, then will be adductus, then will be varus of the heel, and then will be the uh, dorsiflexion that is the equinus. We uh, at the end of the five or six casts, mo uh, most of the deformities can be corrected, but equinus will not be corrected. For the equinus correction, we need to do a tendoachillis tenotomy. At the till the age of 1.5 years of of a baby, uh, alone t uh, alone Ponsetti technique for five or six casts. And then a tenotomy or tendoachillis tenotomy is good enough to get a complete correction and make the foot complete plantigrade and normal for the baby to walk normally. Over a period of one um, over the age of 1.5 years, then the baby will need will need additional procedures such as tendoachillis lengthening or any osteotomies or uh, posterior middle soft tissue releases to get a better outcome. So after the Ponsetti technique is done, it's not that the treatment is completely done. Here comes the toughest part of maintaining the correction after the deformity has been completely corrected. Now the baby will be put on a Dennis Brown splint. Dennis Brown splint is something like two shoes attached with a small bar. So the two shoes with a bar in between that will maintain the abduction and dorsiflexion and aversion of the foot to make sure that the foot is in a normal position. These, uh, these braces have to be worn by the baby for at least 23 hours in a day in the first three months of the treatment and next as gradually the baby grows, we reduce it by 3 hours, 4 hours and finally we bring it down to around 9 months later, we bring it down to 12 hours. When the baby is sleeping alone, you need to wear the shoes. And this treatment will continue to up to 3 to 5 years of the age according to the severity of the deformity and the correction protocol. And uh, this kind of Ponsetti technique actually should be started in the first week of life to get the best possible outcome. The first week uh, in the sense, why? Why? Because the foot, foot and ankle will be very supple, the tendons will be very supple and the correction will be very very drastic and very good with lesser number of POPs and also by the time the baby overturns and also tra tries crawling on its feet, we make sure that the baby is put braces only for a limited time of 12 to 16 hours when the baby sleeps alone. If at all we started the treatment a little later like at the 2 months or 3 months or 5 months, the baby will already be start, uh, will already start standing or crawling and the baby will be put on braces. That will be restricting the baby's activity and the baby will become more and more cranky. So what we would suggest is start up with the treatment in the first week of life, meet, the, meet a pediatric orthopedician immediately after birth and get the baby and start up with the first, uh, first cast in the first week and then continuation phase which we will we'll keep working on with the uh, Dennis Brown splints and also modified shoes with lateral wedge raised. So with all these changes, the baby will walk normally for the rest of its life. The commitment from both from the parents and the surgeon has to be 100%, then only the baby will do really well without any recurrences.